Dan, during Big Ten media days, your name came up when we talked to Coach Walters. He called you a, quote, action figure. Yeah. Kind of like, a, I guess, a freaky athlete. Kind of, in your mind, to describe what that means to you and maybe maybe the freakiness that you bring to the field, if you think you do. Um, I would just say, like, pound for pound, just how much weight I'm lifting, pretty much. I'm, um, like, around 185, 190, so I am putting up a lot of weight. I bitch press about 315 and squat about over 450, so I'll say it come from that part and also running 22 miles per hour when we run it, so I'll say it come from that and also just the product and I've been having on the field. You've been dealing with some lingering things this, this fall so far? Um, no, everything been fine. Going, everything been going good. Tell us about, you talked about it in the spring, just your road back because people's lasting image of you last year wasn't a good one, but mm -hmm. it seems like you're in, in good health and ready to go. Yeah, so. like I said before, it's just been an easy process coming back. Coach has been all good with me and everything, but I mean, it's been an easy process. Spring went good and um, just easing into it. Now I feel like I'm back 100% healthy. You think you can be the go-to guy in this receiving core? Yes, I do. I feel, feel like this is definitely offense that I could cater to, and this is like pretty much, I could show my skill sets and with Hudson Card being a great quarterback and all the other great receivers we have too. I feel like it could open me up some more too and I could uh, be that guy. How do you feel like you guys kind of um, got, like make each other better in the, in the right riders? Um, yeah, in the room, it's just, we're always competitive. It don't matter um, who we think um, is in front of us, stuff like that. Like, just the goal is, like, we got a um, CTD, it's called Competitive Tough Discipline, and we live by that. So, like, pretty much, we're just always going to compete. And um, whoever across from us, we're going to be expect to win every time. Can you, sort of, can you sort of describe the type of pass Hudson Card throws? Yeah, um, Hudson puts it where DB can't get it, um, definitely. Like, so I, I know, like, if I do good on mines and I'm I'm stacking the uh, DB right, I know the ball's going to be right there where it's supposed to be. So Hudson's a, a magician. He's going to make that throw. Does this unit as a whole have a, a chance to be better? I mean, last year, Aiden targeted Charlie quite a bit, mm -hmm. um, Payne quite a bit, and now I feel like, you know, there's not going to be a guy that gets 110 catches, but there might be a whole bunch that get 40, 50, 60 catches. Yeah, I feel like it's definitely an open offense where it could go anywhere. So it's like it's defense not really going to be keying on one player this year. So I feel like it's going to be open offense, and um, a lot of people are going to, and we're going to shock a lot of people with the receivers we have because it's definitely, it's definitely a nice offense. Are you getting some work as a return man? Um, yes, I'm back there also at kick return too. I'm behind Tyrone Tracy too as well, so uh, he's back there, but I'll be back there as well also. Kick and punt? Um, no, not punt return, just kick return. Yep. Jamal obviously is going to be a big part of this. Um, how was he kind of reassessed and said, okay, I've got to help the team in a different role now because I'm not going to be able to help on the field? Yeah, definitely. Jamal's a great player, but um, he's just been a leader off the field now. Like He's just bringing our spirits up, making sure that everything's good on the field and off the field. But um, he's just moving with faith, and um, we just, we're sorry that that happened to him, but he's definitely become a leader in our room.